In Nigeria, there is a very mysterious band of brothers. A colorful troupe of entertainers who are actually medicine men. They have a very interesting marketing tool. They perform with dangerous animals in order to attract crowds. They are born into a tradition which has been alive for many generations. They are the hyena men. Nobody just come from outside ordinary like that and just started handling hyena or monkey or snake. Uh, it's only if you are from the family, maybe from the father's side or from the mother's side. It is a business and it is a way of life. Nigeria, Africa's most populated country and home to 170 million people. The crowded cities offer a colorful and vibrant mix of sights, sounds, smells and a constant atmosphere of festivity. For this is a culture that loves to be entertained. The bustling streets play host to dancers, actors, and entertainers of every variety, turning the towns and cities into outdoor theaters. Perhaps the most notorious group of entertainers in Nigeria are the Hyena Men, or Gadawan Kura, a unique traveling circus that earns a living by attracting crowds through their unusual interaction with dangerous animals. But to these hyena men, it is not just a job. Their performance is a tradition that has been passed down to them through many generations, and one which they will, in turn, pass on to their children. The legacy of the hyena men spreads far and wide and many Nigerians believe that they have special powers. In fact, the hyena men are normal everyday people who spend part of the year farming the land and part of the year dealing in scrap metal. But their favorite time of the year is spent entertaining the crowds, touring the towns and cities, selling special herbs and medicines and accompanied by their interesting companions hyenas, snakes, and baboons. Not everyone can join the Gadawan Kura. Their animal craft cannot be learned. They are born into it. It's only if you are from the family, maybe from the father's side or from the mother's side, or you are a good friend with the family that you will grow up together. It's an inheritance. Nobody just come from outside ordinary like that and just started handling hyena or monkey or snake. Any hyena handler must be a sharp man who knows the characteristics of a hyena, who monitors their behavior. Mustafa is one such man. He is the main hyena handler in the current troop. <laughs> Thank 
ko ta kama ni ma za su je kamar kudewa ne za su je yoki a bakin ta ina jin dadin ta kuma har ga wannan ma ga mun dai muna yin tauraron mun yi ma tauraron za ga Allah shirya mu mun samu mun samu shago mun bude eh dai wasu kuma za su raka yi muna kallon sayo da ku tunda da yawa akwai wanda sun yi wannan suna sumburi mu ma muna jin dadin ta tunda muna siyi da ita da mi stira da ita za a yi gida za a yi aure da ita ana jin dadi da ita the hyena men live a simple and symbiotic life amongst their animals hyenas snakes and baboons are associated with witchcraft in many parts of the country where they are often persecuted and killed their life with the hyena men offers them food protection and shelter and in turn their keepers earn money from the shows that enables them to feed and support their families and farm their crops like all families there are occasions where misunderstandings occur <laughs> wannan ina haka kamar na bata da na bata da ina wannan yana dan kaka ma ni gaba shi nan ba wannan nan kamar yana 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 jin yana yana jin haushi ba yana fishi ba ya so in dinga dukan sa ba shine ke dan kaka ma ni haka yana yana dan wannan yana nuna yana tsoro the hyena men do have their critics some people feel that it is not safe to make a career of performing with dangerous animals and believe the men to be possessed you know they look at us as if we are we, we don't know we don't know what we're doing we don't we, we don't we don't, we don't we, it's better we go and look for a better job doing we, we don't mind what they say because we make money from what we are doing usually once people have witnessed the show they change their minds and start to believe the hyena men have special powers and it is this revelation that ends the men they are living the hyena men use the animals to attract the people that will buy the special herbs and medicines that they sell. It's been eight months since the last time the men performed a show. The new season of entertainment is about to begin, and they carefully plan the long journeys they will make. They will face many challenges on their journey, but their main challenge is sometimes the simplest one, transport. I come to uh, look for a vehicle, a bus, that will convey us to where we are going to do our show. They don't want to put us, the animal, with the passengers. So I'm looking for a bus now that can convey us to where we can do our shows. Some of them are afraid of the animals. So no, not all of them can carry the animal because some people are afraid. If any driver can agree, then we'll negotiate the price and we we'll go. Sometimes we do not have bus because not all people will agree to convey such wild animals because they will be afraid of hurting them. But we are going to we are giving them assurance that it's not going to hurt them. Yahaya has learned to persevere with the taxi drivers and finally find somebody that is willing to transport him and his unusual family of travelers. <laughs> The men are preparing their costumes, instruments and provisions for their road trip. There is a great sense of excitement at the start of each season, mixed with nervous tension after eight months without practice. They must also prepare for their main trade, medicine. Originally, the hyena men were purveyors of herbs and medicines. Legend has it that one of the medicine men carried a snake and a monkey with him one day. Many people were attracted by the intriguing animals and much more medicine was sold as a result. 
The medicine men saw the benefits of traveling with unusual animals and began to use them to attract customers. And this is how the tradition of the hyena men was born. It's time to get going. The animals are secured, muzzled and wrapped up in preparation for their taxi ride. And it's time to depart on their journey. Even the hyenas seem to be bristling with a sense of urgency to get the show on the road. Their first stop will be on the outskirts of Zaria, a smallish town 270 kilometers away, where they will stay overnight before they perform their first show. We traveled from Abuja to Kaduna, from Kaduna before we come to Zaria here. We use about almost three hours on the road, so the weather is too hot and we are tired. So we want to have rest tonight so that tomorrow morning we can start our show with, with more strength. <laughs> Our plan tonight is just to find, since we've tied our animal, is just to go to our lodge now and sleep so that we can be able to cope up for tomorrow's job. It's the first day of the new season and Yahaya and his fellow hyena men are preparing for the big day and dressing up in their colorful show outfits. They've had a long break from performing, and there's a lot of pressure to put on a good show. Their livelihoods depend on it. Feeling everybody's happy. You can hear the drums, you can see children, everybody's happy. We're happy to perform our duty. We are now ready to go out for our normal show. And we are going to perform along the streets, and the people who come out to see us, the people who love us, they will come out to see us today. The hyena men drink a special mixture made of traditional herbs which they believe will protect them during their performance. This powerful concoction is only shared amongst themselves. They do not sell it to the public. Local children come to witness their unusual band of brothers as they set off on their short trip to the main town of Zaria, where it is hoped they will thrill a much larger crowd. This time, at least they have the taxi to themselves. Zaria is the Lotan is the headquarter of the Lotan people. So this show has been coming to Zaria right from our grandfathers, right from our forefathers. They have been coming to Zaria. Any street corner is a potential stage for the performers, and they start their show as soon as a small crowd gathers around them.
It's quite a physical job to keep the crowd entertained, and both the men and the animals need to focus on attracting customers. Sometimes, things don't go quite to plan. Mustafa has hurt his arm whilst performing with his hyena. He is in a great deal of pain and unable to continue. The entertainers may have to call an early end to their first show. Luckily, the hyena men have their own healer in the group. Through his mysterious medicine, he is able to bring Mustafa back to the performance and the show can continue. Medicine is for maybe malaria and some people who have uh, rheumatism and some uh, stomach pain and they usually they usually collect it from us so they have tested the medicine and know how it is so that that is why anywhere we come people rush to come and collect the medicine. The show needs a bit of fine tuning and the crowd was not as large as he had hoped but Yahaya is pleased that the sales of the medicine have still been popular. It was a good day for the business because the people came out, they buy herbs, they pay us, and even when we entice them by our shows, they give us money. So we make, uh, we make some money. After a long day of performing, the men and their troop are both happy and exhausted. But before they can rest, they discuss how to make their show better to attract bigger crowds. <laughs> After last night's meeting, the men have hatched a plan of how to attract more customers to their shows. We got three hyenas and two baboons and one snake. We need more snakes to draw more attention of the customers. That's why we came to this, our cousin brother, so that he can give us more, we, we can get us more snakes to, um, to bring more people to us. Uh, it's a special skill, and he's the only person with such skills uh, that can urgently call snakes and get them immediately. The skill he has to get snake is uh, because he call them. When he puts smokes in something, then he smokes the area. Then anywhere they are, they will be weak. That's, that smoke now is the charm that anywhere that smoke is, anywhere the snake is, he will call them and they will come and he will get right of hold of them and will use them. We cannot use the snake just directly like that. We're gonna give the snake some herbs. Then after we give the snake some herbs, then it will be ready to take out to the public for use. The hunting is successful because we have got about almost four snakes now. I hope everything is marvelous, everything is successful and we are happy. Because it's not easy to just come, sometimes we get only one, sometimes two. So it's not easy to get about four at once, so we are lucky. These new snakes won't be ready for the next show. They will need to spend time with the hyena men before they can perform. The hyena men are building up to a big show in the second largest city in Nigeria, Kanu, with a population of 3.8 million. It's the hyena men's favorite stage, and they are hoping for a big crowd. From Zaria to here is about two hours' drive. We we'll finished the show from Zaria. We are now in Kanu now. Okay. 
everybody is feeling happy because this uh, uh, this canoe we left canoe now for about almost let's say eight months. We are happy to even see canoe again. This place is uh, a, uh, is a house built by our boss, so that any time we come to canoe, we can go home and tight our animals here. Any time we travel long with the animal, we give them time to rest. While the men prepare for the big show ahead, they also share some quiet time with the animals. Their special relationship shows people that these animals are not just symbols of evil and superstition that should be feared and killed. By combining the unique and exciting animal displays with the cells of traditional medicine, they have created a mysterious reputation which empowers both themselves and the animals they work with. The big day has arrived and Yahaya is excited about the crowds it might bring. We are hoping to make more money in the bigger city because there are too much of people in the big city. So we are hoping to make much money today in our hubs and some of our medicine we sell. performing exercise. <laughs> No <laughs> Belief that any child, if they put on top of the hyena, that child cannot be tempted with the witch, and it will, it will have some all this spiritual sickness. That's why they paid us to put them on the hyena so that the, the spirit will follow the children, the children will not seek or have a very uh, bad dream or witch attacking them. 
For the slightly older generation, a ride on the back of a hyena is believed to make them more popular with the opposite sex. The medicine sales are going very well and many people in the crowd flock to try new products or buy their tried and tested herbs and remedies. This is their main source of income and the benchmark of a successful show. from this area and I saw the hyenas, I saw the uh, snake and I saw the baboon. I was very excited because this is the first time I've been seeing them. And I know everybody around this area is also excited. Kano, as always, has been a great success for the hyena men and their medicine business. This is the end of our show. It's a successful show. We are happy to end it up like this. We sell a lot of herbs and everybody, we, we make new fans and everybody knows us more in the north and they're going to know us more again, more and more again. So we make much money and we are happy. Kaduna <laughs> 